Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. Here is why Ohanieze's and Southeast governors met with Governor Wiki yesterday. So my people, hello everyone. A very warm big thank you to you. We know what has been going on in Oibo, where, you know, Governor Wiki allegedly allowed, you know, the, the people of... Uh, of of the Igbo you know Igbo of, of Indo Igbo indigenous to just suffer needlessly in the hands of uh, police army uh, because he felt some people did not treat uh, you know the government officials talking about security agencies very well. The aftermath of NSAS was that some people took laws into their hands, uh, burned police station, uh, in particular in Oyibo. Uh, six soldiers were killed, f um, two or two policemen as well. I mean, four policemen were also killed, and so the army came for a revenge. And all the men, so long as you are a man, a man. In fact, they took them all out. They killed some, to mention, but a few. I mean, it was and Wiki just kept quiet. He still did a coffee, coffee and kept quiet and allowed the people to be dealt with. Anyway, their leaders, the Ohanieses and the Southeast governors met with Wiki yesterday. Let's get all the details. Southeast governors and selected top leaders of the Igbo extension as well as the clergy's women group have organized meeting with the Igbo community in River State and the governor of the state, Nusom Wiki, to make peace between the two parties. The group determined and determined it necessary to organize the meeting following the rumor recently making rounds on social media that the governor of River State allegedly ordered security agencies to kill the Igbos in the Igbo local government area of River State over crisis that erupt in the area where hoodlums hijacked the nationwide peaceful NSAS protest by the genuine youths. During the meeting, some of the Igbo community representatives were given opportunity to air their views on the relationship between the Igbo community and the government of Rivers, and as well as the social media rumor which claimed the alleged killing of the Igbos in the state. The Igbo community described the news as a mere rumor fabricated by rumor mongers whose ambition was to disrupt good relationship between the state governor and the Igbos in River states. Present at the meeting, which was heard at the River State Government House at Port Harcourt, include the Chairman Southeast Governors Forum, Governor of Ebony State, David, who presided over the meeting, Governor of Abia State, Governor of Imo um, State, and others include the President of Ohanese, Chief, Chief Mazi Newi and leaders of the Indigo Elder Association, Chief Emmanuel, and others, former Governor of River State, Mr. Peter Odili, among others, were there at the meeting, where they discussed extensively for the peace and unity of the people in the area. So, my people, this was what happened between Wiki. We know what has been going on with Wiki and um, the Igbo-speaking uh, people in, you know, Oibo, where we saw on social media the way the men were arrayed, sent out, and um, all that happened during and after the NSAS, how news began to make rounds that this was going on. The governor allowed the people to be maltreated, to be, you know, not to be looked after properly. Security agencies came in and were just harassing people, you know. So this meeting was heard. But the truth of the matter is, in Nigeria, we need to rise up. You know, we allow these government officials to come in, have elaborate meeting, and they don't really get to the cross of the matter in discussing true matters of what really affect us. They come in there and they just come in to exchange pleasantries and say their opinion. No representative of the youth of the Oyibo community, people on ground, you're saying from your perspective, but we are there people because on the mention of the lineup of the of the people that were there, there was no indication that people from Oyibo community were there as well. You know, they will have this meeting and there will be no true representative to reflect what is really going on. Take for instance, yes, the judiciary panel that has been set up in Lagos to look into what really happened in um, the, the old NSAS 
and you know the police brutality that you know wow. army coming in to hijack the process and what have you do you know that they were asking the youth to leave the panel you know they were asking the youth to leave the panel and they also gave the youth some money the two youth representatives in the group were given 750,000 naira by the governor of the state. Why? What is it for? Anyway, we'll bring you up to speed with that to know exactly what is going on. Although the students said, the, 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 uh, our representative said it was for nothing, it was just for this or that, but we'll get to the bottom of that. I don't want to just, you know, let out the cat out of the bag. But what are we saying? These are things that go on in our country. There is no true reflection of what is really happening. No true reflection. You say you are having a meeting. You heard what is going on in Oibo. Did you make an effort to find out? Did you call people from the Oibo community? Were they there? Because if they are the ones saying that, um, okay, this is going on, uh, people were being molested, people were being killed, said it was making rounds on social media. Did you... Was there a representative from the Oyibo community to make sure that these things were actually rumor or it was a true reflection of what happened? That's the question. Were there true? Were there people on ground to make sure that they verify this these claims? Because what we heard is that the South South Governor, the South East Governors were there. Fine. The traditional rulers were there. Fine. Governor um, Newsom Wiki, former Governor Peter uh, uh, Odili was there. Fine. But we did not hear that they were representative from the Oibo community. We also hear that, hear that the leaders of the Indigo was, were there. Fine. No problem with that. What about representative from the Oibo community? So now, if they ask you guys, you will say, we've had a meeting, we've discussed it, there's nothing going on, it's just a rumor. My dear, you've not touched, the, you've not touched it where it really hurts. You've not. You've not really hit the nail on the head, like they will say. It has not been, the job has not been done. If you want to really know what's happening to a people, you need to go above and beyond. You need to be able to really ascertain, get to the bottom of it. Don't stay in your high horse and get there, look around without coming down to investigate and say, oh, nothing really happened here. You, you, that's not a very true reflection. That is not very, that's not a very true statement of what really happened. No, that's not very correct. I beg your pardon, but that's not very correct. So what are we saying? There should be a true way of getting to find out what really happened among the people. There should be a true way of really ascertaining if what, you know, was heard was actually true. Take, for instance, soldiers said they went there. They gave the youths water and drinks. And after that, they started stoning them. Have you heard that wealth of lie before? Have you ever heard anything like that? Guys, leave us a comment. God bless you. Bye for now.